going, my friends? Welcome to NFT Revolution. My name is Freddie Colton, and today I'm going to be discussing a really interesting project that I just found, Koi Metaverse. Now, this one really interests me. I personally am an ocean lover. I am from and grew up around the ocean. So I thought that this was just a really fun idea off the bat. Did a little more research and thought that this would definitely be interesting to talk about. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with their little introduction. What is Koi? While crypto is disrupting the way we create and transfer value forever, NFTs or non-fungible tokens have placed true ownership directly into the hands of individuals. NFTs empower the ongoing revolution towards the permissionless rarity paradigm, creating markets for art, game assets, and so much more. And soon they will become the foundational building blocks of something even greater, the metaverse. The metaverse is an ocean of virtual worlds where anyone can live and play through their virtual alter egos. An uncensorable virtual economy of games where characters, items, lands, and other experiences can be valued and traded with no rule of And something else that, uh, just kind of thinking about it, it's like, you know, and there's also the ability for multiple metaverses at this point, too. The metaverse in itself is now a concept that, like, there is, like, a metaverse now, you know what I mean? There can be multiple, so that's just... It's interesting, and I think that they're coming from that same perspective, by the way. They say the metaverse, but I think they just mean any sort of independent metaverse as well. Just putting that out there. ...or restrictions, and perhaps most surprisingly of all, an entirely new business model to earn a living anywhere in the world. For the first time in history, games are more than just games. Play to Earn creates gateways for developing nations and millions of unbanked individuals, giving them access to equal opportunity. Coin Network is the spot that will change the rules of what a game is supposed to be and empower players and builders to shape their own destiny on the metaverse. Coin Network consists of a high-speed marketplace for trading NFTs across every major blockchain, an economy enabling yield, loans, and interactive DeFi instruments on NFTs, a gateway and sidechain to accelerate and unify value across distant ecosystems, and a GameFi toolkit for building your own play-to-earn games with ease. Join Koi and unlock the next-generation GameFi metaverse economies. There you go, join Koi. Uh, that's really interesting. I, I think that that's a uh, really like great way to break everything down. For sure, love the voice actress. By the way, thought that was really well well made on her half. Um, and of course, well animated also. So I'm actually going to jump through a couple of the different articles and then we're going to kind of jump into what Koi is because it tells you uh, that gave you a good general idea. So we're going to let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's jump over to medium real quick. So uh, going to go ahead and show you right here. Medium 10.6 thousand followers. That's, uh, you know, that's amazing. That's a big number on medium. And I'll go ahead and say that, um, you know, not that I would be accusing this company of faking followers at all but you always got to be skeptical with any company. The cool thing about Medium is there's not really a way that I've been able to find, and I've actually looked into it, to fake Medium followers, just out of curiosity, because Medium is one of those that a lot of crypto projects use. So, um... To my knowledge, that's not even possible to do at the moment. So that just shows you how big of a core audience that they have. And they are keeping regularly posting on Medium. But it just shows you they have a beautiful core audience of 10,000 generally. And rising, depending on the social media. Uh, but just kind of putting that out there to show you a little, like just a little backup of how, you know, well made this project is. And if that doesn't show you enough, we also have a big following on LinkedIn with about 7,000, 6,000 6, plus, uh, 6,000 plus uh, followers on just their LinkedIn alone, which is another one of those places that you don't really fake followers on LinkedIn. So that's a big deal. And again, not that I'm accusing this project of it, but you always double, triple check, right? And th this project has just proven to have a great, core audience of 10,000 plus depending on their media. So I just call those out to kind of give that some legitimacy from what I know. Uh, but then again, you know, who, who, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like, 
um, you know, obviously it ends up being what the project is about rather than just their following, but I just kind of want to, you know, put that out there as well alongside the info we're going to be getting right here. Uh, so 10,000 over here on, on, um, Telegram, their Discord as well, it's a little bit newer, but it's building up over here also, there's no, uh, posted number, so I'm not sure exactly. 29,000 and growing over on Twitter with a really great engagement, by the way, with any post. Uh, this is another little video kind of telling you about uh, the gaming aspect of this project. There you go. Uh, and we will uh, look a little more into the gaming aspect of it here in a moment. So you've got uh, some articles about them on Yahoo Finance, um, talking about Metaverse Koi Labs raised $5.3 million series of funding. Um, there's an article about them on investing.com, but I'm sorry, I just couldn't get through to that. But know that it's there, and I got all of this, of course, on their website. You can find it, uh, as well as any of the documents that I'm going to show you right over here on Docs on their website as well. All their social media is down there at the bottom. There's some of it up here at the top. Also, let's see, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, Coin Metaverse unlocking the next gen metaverse economy is successful. $2.6 million funding, which also tells you a lot about how. Uh, just how much of the funding behind this project even started out at um we've got their white paper here now this is what comes up when you click into their white paper i'm not really going to go through this project or this project this piece of the project so much because we're really going to touch on what i want to touch on through what i show you uh here and also the next few minutes as i kind of wrap this up but uh this is their white paper i'm just showing you how nice and extensive it is very well written, very descriptive. If this is the kind of way that you like to look into your projects, definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, let's see. So I jumped ahead a little bit because I clicked all through all the way through it. But uh, this is their gaming, um, their game game paper. Pardon, what do they call it? Yeah, just their game paper. So this is their game paper. Uh, and this just tells you all about the gaming aspects. By the way, I apologize if you hear uh, loud rustling or any sort of rustling in the background. My my kitten is is being loud and playing right now in the background. Uh, so it's welcome you to the Koi Metaverse, telling you about that. A little bit of an overview of the game, so just the governance token instead of traditional operation marketing gimmicks. They're going to promote done, uh, they're going to done via time, which is significantly decreasing the gamer attention see here so they've got ft assets so they've got koi and shell these are the different assets the koi is the governance token others uh, going to be a supply of 1 billion 30 percent of which belongs to game rewards which can be produced uh procured by playing games gamers will be able to share the ecological turnover and then with shell it has no upper limit function is the in-game currency all of it can be obtained by participating in the game and project promotion and a return can be consumed within games the different NFT assets as well, different fish, different colors and shapes, si you know, uh, believe sizes, um, let's see, fins, uh, they are different mining so they can have, uh, they are, they were, uh, excuse me, the fish will be able to mine actually crypto for you, we'll get into that in a moment. Got different fish tanks which you can actually rent out, you can sell them. Um, these are help where you can actually grow your fish to be able to mine with them. But you'll be, like I said, you can rent it, sell it, there's a lot of stuff to do with different fish tanks. They're gonna have auctions as well, which you know me, I love a good auction. Mystery boxes, classic in any game of course which is just different assets just just distribution ah can't talk today uh fish tank casting so when you'll be able to basically make them um mind in the system it's increasing by 100 and the new fish tank is cast it's priced at uh, 0 0.05 ethereum in the capacity of fish tank fish tank is able to on the first come first serve basis nobody purchases it then the price will drop at 0.1 percent of the total price every minute until it's destroyed wow <laughs> At one third of the original price, um, it'll be purchased by Ethereum. Uh, then there's breeding, which classic. Uh, we I think we all know. I think we all played Pokemon to learn what breeding means. Uh, and we've got fish mining as well. So that's where you see your fish uh, can mine. The power can obtain shell every day proportionately. Amount of shells available to mine per day is ref uh, is related to the total sum of the fish 
participating in mining. K as a constant, tentatively K50, and then averagely takes uh, 500 shell to breed a fish, and the average mining power of its lifespan is 1250 shell. Then the absolute return of breeding will start to be negative when the total number of mining fish in the system reaches about 10,000. That is to say, reproductive behavior begins to propel shell into deflation. Which I think, so it's smart to get fish and, and breed them early on if you do decide to uh, jump into this. Only fish that are not being sold there, bred or locked by pictorial books uh, can participate. Every time a fish participates in mining, it loses 4% of the mining power. Uh, pictorial book mining, so a game can activate a uh, pictorial book when acquiring some purebred fish. The built-in suite, so you can start mining KLI and, you know, just different levels. NFT value accumulation as well as airdrops, which they will allow. NFT market, rental market, breeding market, and fishing market, which a breeding market is actually pretty original for what I've seen, um, which I think that's a really good idea, actually. Community fund pool and community organization, um, and the contact for the Koi metaverse. And then this is actually their uh, pitch deck as well, which we'll sort of end on here just showing you a little bit about this uh project sort of giving you the info about it i just want to touch on the team really quickly well I'll tell you what the team is here on the website the team is absolutely public let's see so this tells you a little bit about what we went over tells you about the thing here we go the team members and so just to sort of end it here the team is doxxed they tell you who they are and uh they have their linkedins completely publicly accessible if you'd like to see who they are the entire team which i really respect so definitely check this project out check them out if you'd like to there's a little bit more of info we didn't touch on today but again really cool project very interesting with koi metaverse i think this one's going to be a big hit so i just wanted to discuss it but thank you as always my friends for coming by crypto coins my name is freddie colton i'll see you in the next episode